not punishing anything properly. But he gets a counter hit Thor, he gets the magic Thor into the wall. Oh, is there going to be a raw rage? Right. But he doesn't. Does he doesn't whiff. He doesn't whiff punish the handspring at all. Normally, you get a very juicy punish from those. Yeah. Round three. Fight. Just lost him. Oh he's damn! Eating, oh, he's, he's, five, eating four. he's eating everything. This is an absolute scramble. That would have punish. been that, that would have been lovely if it landed. That would have been quite a weird conversion. Um, <laughs> the crowd's getting hyped with tigers. I can hear him from here. Well, quite a large crowd here today, actually. So. Yeah. Full of expectation. Oh, he's the rage right for his troubles. And there we go. That just can't... about. <laughs> that just been... about. That could have been really hairy with the sidewall. So, sure on match points. Once again. Ooh. Takes the tiger. Takes another tiger for his Jumping trouble. Tiger. I think that one probably could have been punished. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, but he's eating all these and he goes for the hunting hawk again on wake up. Go up while standing punish on the blow. Can they like stagger down forward one. one? More down forward one. Mag down forward one magic four. Trade. Down forward one magic four. Is this guy a lead player? <laughs> it could be. If Lee was better. Bubbles. Prayer, prayers down back for season four, two. Can't hit, hit down back four. Four four two. Uh, good, duck, good, good duck. Down one, the down one quickly gets him out of pressure, but not for long. Does he know? Oh. How, does he know? How, he he does know how to deal with devastation stance. Oh, the... oh, and he reverses it. This is what he needs. And get off me! Get off me. me! Oh, that could have been like the whip. Could have been a much better whip punish on the rave drive, but it's better than nothing. Oh! 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 And daylight takes it with the unblockable. Dude, what, what a, a start to the day! That is <laughs> Set City. What a what way a to start Celtic throw what a, what a what a what a day, what a game. Last year's top three place player gets go, goes out in the first match of pools. What more could you ask for? I mean, props to Daylight. Like that was just excellent. That he, he he recovered. He he was he started shaky and he, he started shaky. He got a, he must have, he got a feel for what Shirtle was looking for, what he wanted to do, and then and then he made Shirtle crack. Yeah. Play. He did some. He made some questionable decisions, but they worked out. Yeah, like sure like, it was like, looked very off to, like I, not to take any way credit from uh, from daylight, but like sure it looked very shaky that much. He looked very shaky. He needs he need, he looked like he needed some water, some coffee, and something to eat. Oh yeah. And we got, I believe we've got um, it's Batty and Suko, right? Yeah, Batty and Suko. Uh, I'm not sure who Suko plays. Um, he's a friend of Badusai who also is in Ireland. In Ireland, and uh, I think Suko lives in Ireland. But this as is well. a completely international clash, I believe. Yeah, like you would not get this at like Celtic Throwdown last year so early. So we got like you know from people from two different continents uh, playing against each Poland other. Poland versus Brazil, I believe this game is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Barty, of course, one of Poland's finest, an incredibly strong king player. Yeah, yeah. Been Moment. around a while. Yeah, definitely. He's been his king player. His king player is one of the best in the EU. Um, and I'm saying we're pretty confident. King is kind of a character that does very well in the first of two formats. Um, he's not got, so much in longer sets, I would say. There. Yeah, not much such. But he's a good character in this. There's no doubt. The thing this tournament isn't first to five. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, for everyone's sake, I think it's glad, <laughs> glad in is. It isn't. We'd for be this, here all night. Yeah, for us, we'd be having a little. Come, the streamer's sake and everyone else's sake except the players, pretty much. So for those of you who don't know, you're also watching on uh, Lythero. You may know this lad for a lot of his uh, Marvel and Dragon Ball Z videos. You might have seen doing some like butting up with uh, Maximilian a few few days ago. Um, he's been a great, great help as one of the biggest Irish streamers as well. And the biggest Irish streamers. <laughs> the biggest. Shout outs to Lithero. <laughs> <laughs> Lithero, Lithero. So we should be getting our match start started soon. Um, they appear to be having bad connection issues. I mean, I don't know why. Shredder plays on stick, doesn't he? 
Um, Shuttle, yeah, Shuttle definitely plays. Shuttle's a stick player. Or Mr. Day, maybe Daylight just forgot to do this. Can... <laughs> that would be horrible. That, that would that would not be a good start to Daylight's day if he gets DQ'd for not desyncing his controller yeah. after, after that win. That would be... As I said, this was, I think, I'm pretty sure this is his first CT, so all things considered, it was pretty... No excuse for not owning the rules, though. Yeah, but it's something that I'm be... saying this as a TO, not as a commentator. Desync your pads. Oh, yeah, trust me. Uh, even for players, you know how like, long, long, it, long it is. And, Desync yeah. your pads. We will DQ you. I don't care who you are. Or me. So, um... Who else like, can give, we can give shout-outs to? I mean, we are like comfy chairs are from GT Omega. Omega. GT Omega Racing. We've got Twitch, Bandai Namco, giving us this beauty of this wonderful Tekken World Tour event. We've got HyperX. Zowie, BenCube. A bunch of other game companies sponsoring the other games here as well. You know, we got everyone. Oh, yeah. And I want to give a little shout-out to um, Joanne, who made this for, for me this morning. She uh, has her own, like, beads company called Otter Shambles. You know? So if you like fancy... Good bead work, and you're from around the country. Definitely check her out. So we finally should be starting again. Once again, we apologize for this short delay. Hopefully, we'll have more Tech and World Tour action from Celtic Throwdown for you as soon as we can. In the meantime, Neil, mm. what are your thoughts on Pool A400? Because um, we've got in this first wave, we've got we've got quite a few, we've got quite a few notables. Oh yeah, yeah. Particularly like Pool like A0. That one is if, like stacked to, to hell. Like that one is um, that what Tishimon, who is the favorite to win this. Like I think most people would agree. Um, we've got Blackbeard, Blackbeard, Nikita, Vaxi, and Gosain. Go, I'd go send an A401. I see he's been moved. But like that pool was originally pretty damn stacked, and yeah. it still is probably the uh, most dangerous. I had I had Shirtle as one of I, I had Shirtle as one of my picks to get out of A400. Three get out of pools. It's we three get out of pools into a top 24. So in winners winners final winners final of a pool determines who gets out of a pool and winners and who gets out and loses and then there's a losers final to determine who gets out in, in the full losers bracket. Yeah, it's a not, it's a different set of rules than yes. usual, but uh. It, it's what we're doing it prevents here. Um, double jeopardies. Oh, um, I see. So like, if you beat if you beat a guy and then you lose the run back and then you have a salty car ride home, it prevents that sort of thing. Okay, cool. Hello, double jeopardies. They're they're kind of hyping their own sense. Um, so we're finally getting. It started. means more people get to see. I top this Tony as well, which is yeah. good, I guess. Yeah. But given a start to the day, maybe we'll see Mr. Daylight in top 24. <laughs> Who knows? Could be. Well, if he desyncs his pad. So we should be starting very shortly. Okay, one more minute. Okay, so there we go. Uh, yeah, Buddy versus Suko. We'll see what Suko has to offer. Let's see who Suko made. Let's see. Noctis player. Interesting. Noctis. Okay. I will. I will be. No, this is the button check. This is the button check. Party would go dragon off. Yeah. I mean, I think he has one, but I don't think he'd do that in tournament. This this has to be a button check. I don't know. I could be. There's a handshake. So, yeah, I guess that. Were... I'm guessing it's a start. I'm going to assume it's just going to be left and right. I would assume so. But, uh... I assume it was ever left is maining Dragunov. So I think... Bati is maining Dragunov for this one. Which I suppose, you know, you don't fear Bati... Dragunov, obviously, an extremely strong char character in this game. Like, and his throw game is still re exceptionally good. Like, um... He has near enough every tool. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. He's got everything to win. <coughs> well, let's just check, the, make sure this is a button check first before we start talking about the virtues of Dragonov. 
Yeah. One of many versions. Kind of right down to you. Yeah, this is definitely smart. Yeah, okay, alright, this is real. Sparty playing Dragon off and a departure from how he normally does the character he normally is known for his known for his excellent king play. And he looks like he's working on a perfect here. Oh, raw oh. down for two. Sure, why not? He's on lead. Yeah. I very, yeah, very unfortunate from Suko there. Even if that lands, I don't think you should be spending rage that er that early, you know, with your opponent's steps. You should probably, in that instance, when your opponent has a full health of bar, you're probably going to want to use it to do it. And like, I, I will admit, I, I, I will, I'll be the first to admit, Neil, I don't have that much knowledge on Noctis. So you're probably going to have to help me a little bit with this one. Oh yeah, sure, yeah. A Dragon Off, I can talk about Dragon Off all day. Yeah, well, Noctis is kind of like the, a super like. A range three character, one of the few Tekken characters you say you can say who's optimal main range is range three. I know you can't. I know you can't low power any of the weapon loads. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like that's one thing I do know. But, one of the but they're all thing, incredibly slow. Yeah, one of Noxus's two biggest weaknesses is basically his inability to really deal with pressure up close. He doesn't have a lot of like get off, good get off me, off me twos. Um, and he's also not great up close. His lows aren't very aren't re rewarding either. He doesn't have a generic down one or down four either, does he? I no, he doesn't. I don't. Think Damn, he... that was quick. Yeah. Was, I, I, I'm sat here learning about Noctis, and the first game's already over. Yeah. Damn, Barty bringing it. As expected, of course. Th this pool A400 one that Barty's in, one of the most stacked in the entire tournament. He has to get. In order to win the pool, he has to get the likes of Daniel Mardo, Gosain, and Freak and Fergus. Yeah. I'm, I'm very sorry, Fergus. I will never call you that on stream again. <laughs> sure, you won't. If he loses. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He has actually lost the body the body in tournament before. I think he knocked him. Body knocked him out of a uh, versus fighting last year. So, I mean, it's a it was a long time ago, but it can still happen. He goes. Going Noct back home, we've got Noctis more industry industry doing his Instagram selfies than actually fighting. Oh, we've got the we've, we've got we've got the serious castle stage. We've a bit circuit, a lot smaller. Yeah, um, Zuko kind of just pressing the two button a lot. So yeah, he likes the two. I mean, Noctis in general likes the two button quite a bit, but he takes him to the wall. and He doesn't get a conversion. Rolling two, that's a mix up. That's super plus. You can't he, be doing stuff. Like... Plus seven. He's. Oh, I don't think it's that plus, but hey. Ball down for two. Yeah, body knows this is a cinch. Like, he's got... I think he already has this in the bag. Don't count out Suko just yet. But Suko does not... He does not react quite... He doesn't seem to be... It's not reactions, he's just doing your own reads. He's doing he's, a lot... He's, he's doing a lot, making a lot of reads. He doesn't seem to be able to deal with pressure well, or, or deal with Barty's movement. And Barty appears to... He appears to understand Noctis quite well. But, yeah, yeah. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing what, uh, I'm seeing a lot of punishes. He's getting a lot of counter hits. He's... I mean, body's just trying to get a launch at this point. He just doesn't mind. He and knows... he get, he get, now he's giving him it. He knows um, Suko is going to um, put himself, put himself at risk and bet, bet for him, and then he can punish for so it. Why not let? What if they're going to hang themselves? Why not let them? Yeah, exactly. That's the second down for two. He's blocked. This could be unquite. <laughs> and he goes to the mix up. Yeah, yeah. Body, extremely comfortable win for him. Goes on to the next match. I'd have liked to have seen his king though. Yeah. Although, what are the odds we would have seen him just doing whatever king train grabs for the whole whole match? We get to see some. We, might, we could have got to see some death cradles though. Oh yeah, people love watching rolling great things. except for the players who get hit by them. So we've got Barty moving on further in winners. So, looks who do we have up next? Um, I can observe by that stage. Oh, we've got Ferguson. I believe we've got Ferguson Ludacris according to the Smash GG. But who knows? I'm using my eyes up here just to tell who, who's coming up. Oh, people want to see my face. <laughs> It's the first time I've been my face has been requested. 
so eagerly awaiting to see our, see our next game after that. That flew by so quickly, we barely got to say anything about it. Okay, um, the one I know one player there, that is Ronan. He, I think the guy, one of the next guys up is Ronan. He's a Katarina player from Cork. Ronan and Eisk. Oh, okay, I got okay, this. Okay, Ronan versus Eisk. Eisk is a Danish uh, Asker player. He's the guy who runs He runs those online cash tournaments, doesn't he? I think so, yeah. So Eisk, uh, yeah, came from Denmark. Um, with his girlfriend, I think, as well. Another like, Danish player as well. So, um, so Katarina versus Asuka. Um, if you're from Ireland, you probably should be fairly familiar with these characters because we're just plays these both. Uh, Katarina, pretty good character in like a first to two format, but so is Asuka. Um, it largely depends on like who can deal with other others' um, shenanigans but quicker. And uh, you know, it kind of will we'll see. But I would say Ice is probably the better better equipped for for this tournament. Yeah. So hopefully we're not having any p controller decent issues again. Please don't. Things appear to be fine for now. So yeah. Uh, for Roland's case, I first I played him against the uh, two weeks ago and rode to Celtic Throwdown in Cork. Um, his Catalonia is good. He's got fun fundamentals. Um, but I don't think he's quite quite up there yet to be you know beaten. Somebody who's traveling over all the way from Den Denmark, but you never know. Not everyone that travels is amazing, you know. Some be like this is—it's a spectacle. It's a holiday just as much as it is a tournament. That's what—that's that's what these yeah. major event experiences are. Exactly. And not yeah. just like if you're a top player, of course you're here. You're here to win. You're here for the money. You're here for the points. You're here for the glory. But not everyone travels for the same reasons. Yeah, exactly. So. But um. You aren't exactly I've, never seen, I've not seen Isk in a. Off, I haven't seen Isk play in an offline setting. I would assume he was. I would like. I would assume he was a head stomper. Yeah, you would assume so, wouldn't you? Um, but I don't know if he. I don't know if he. I don't know if he went there. I don't know if he placed. Um, I think no. I think you need to switch him around, Lee. I'll see when characters are select. I'll be able to tell them. Um, so Ronin's, yeah, that's Ronin. Ice plays. I do also know that Ronin is going to be moving to Dublin um, fairly soon, so I'm sure you can get a, a little bit more experience there. Um, so who means who? I think, yeah, Ronan's just take, taking his buttons, making sure everything's correct. And, ooh, he's going with Claudio. Okay, Ronan, yeah. He also has a bit of a Claudio. I wouldn't rate his Claudio as good as his Katarina. This seems to be quite common in Ireland. Everyone having, everyone having, even third, everyone has a secondary Claudio. Everyone has a secondary Cla Claudio. I thought you were going to say secondary character. I don't have a secondary Claudio, no, thank you, but um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, Kat and Katarina. But... Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are new characters and they are, have generally been like execution wise and neutralized. They're much easier. They're like cool, you know, their move list is a lot more compact. The compact, the, 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 yeah. the general learning curve is a lot. It's no, not as steep as, tra as a traditional Tekken character. Yeah, Claudio. I, I think heard they've got, they've got Forgotten Realm. Yeah, uh, Claudio has, I think, like the smallest moves out of all the characters in the game. Forty-two, forty-two moves. Forty-two. Jeez, I thought it was like fifty something. Jesus. Okay. So anyway, Ice starting off. He's it's forty something anyway. Yeah. And there there we go. Yeah. We've got the Dars already. Can you, can you take him downtown? What is a Cla Claudio match without the Dars? A very okay. patient guy, and he reverses him into the wall. Doesn't correct the combo. <laughs> that was <laughs> the Danish back three. That was an interesting back three. Probably one of the few situations where you actually want to do back three when you've got your opponent at the wall. wall. You're supposed to do it like the other guy runs. Ace Ooh, drops the oh, drops it again. He's like he's, he, he's picking his spots with the back threes, but his movement seems all right. His, his movement wow. seems a little off. I wonder if he's just warming up or he's nervous. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
Now we have he a say, got, sailing in Ireland. Hit doesn't convert. Now we have a sailing in Ireland. When somebody, uh, when an Asuka player like Fergus lands a back three in the clutch, we call it the Irish back three. But anyway, Ronan gets an air conversion but doesn't manage to get the corkscrew. Doesn't punish. Like Ronan's, Ronan, he's, Ronan's getting the whiffs, but he's not he's not doing anything with them. Yeah. I think. Uh, he gets not, and he drops the combo, and it takes. Ace takes another round. I'm sorry if I got his name wrong there. I was if Roman doesn't really take it, goes three round, three zero in rounds. He'll probably do it. Like, with the um, with the parry, and get he eats the wall running, gets full combo, and down and um, down to down to two, I believe. He gets the wall splat. And he gets, but takes the fully charged. Oh. No stranger knows his ass. Ice knows his ass. Okay, obviously. An interesting wall trade. Doesn't land the full. He doesn't land the full combo after going for, after breaking the floor. Oh, counter, counter, the counter hit. There we go. I almost thought he was going to fail that. Like bro, just running two. When in doubt, launch four three running two. Down four two again. Damn. Okay, Takes running to the wall. He's got running. starburst. Again. Running two. Oh, the, uh, the, the shoulder and, and the shoulder, but he, he correctly tech rolls to beat the low. He gets a combo of his own. But he takes it off the wall with the mix. Interesting. Down four. Oh, the counter hit down two. That's plus on counter, but he doesn't convert, and he doesn't convert off the counter either. Oh. 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 Boy. I'm gonna see a but drop city here. Okay. And very good punish low, from Ronan. Very good punish from Ronan. He's back in this. I was kind of expecting a back three from Ice. I'm just like, every time I see a Ask All No Health, I'm just like, I am going to see a back three some, somehow. Taking to the wall. But he, 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 uh, he, he goes up as he goes to the other side with the run over. I, he's carrying a loss to the wall. Yeah. He is indeed. Ronan, Ronan, Ronan needs to recognize this and act upon it. And if he. If not with check-ins, we've just delayed. We're delaying his buttons off. Yeah, or if any time, just use call you your use, shoulder. Yeah, you use a shoulder, use an elbow. Yeah, yeah. That's actually, a good option. Actually, just, actually, I don't think Claudio has it. He just has shoulders and he has definitely has knees, but I don't think he has elbows. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Get ready for the uh, it's one zero to Ice. Ice one. Let's see, so, if Ro let's see if Ronan can make the necessary adjustments. We've got a stage change. It's Violet Systems now. Yeah, uh, no character switch. Um, stage is quite like it's it's quite it's a very, it's quite rectangular. It's yeah. It's like there's not much like you can do wall to wall very easily. You do one you can do um you can you can do horizontal walls. Um, yeah, quite, you don't have to. Very, it's not like certain other stages of the game. You don't have to worry about the side, um, side wall potentially screwing you over, um, or potentially saving saving yourself. So it's kind of a. Very... He's got him on the wall. This is much this, this is much better than what what we were seeing before in terms of his offense. He's taking from wall to wall to wall. This is round two. Yeah. So this is textbook Asuka from Ice now. Down for two. That has been working out very well for Ronin so far. Gets into the wall. With uh, big, yeah. He ducks the wild running two this time. Those running twos have been a bit choreographed from Ronan. Like he's been kind of uh, backing off, and you can kind of see that it's there. He, he's eating a lot of throws as well. Yeah. That, was, that would have been the third. And uh, there we go. There we go. More counter hits. He's, he's getting high crush today by Ice. So Ronan doesn't look uh, is on the back foot now. He, needs, he doesn't have an answer to back three as well. So. I'm pretty sure she gets to be guaranteed after that, but another running two. Can he can he for, can he force his game on ice now? I, no, there's no, the, nice there's the hot kick. Makes the wall, Starburst. What's the mix up? The Back no three. mix up mix up. Back three again. And he eats, eats another fully charged and blockable. Yeah. Okay, he has rage now. He has three. rage and starburst. It makes happen, but And he drops the combo and he doesn't punish the back three. Or the 4-2 more accurately. And yep, yeah, Ice takes it. After somewhat of a close close for match, he kind of is very con convincing. So he'll move forward. I apologize for that one, everybody. I, I just see Asuka do something punishable to say back three. It's probably back three. It's either back three or four two. Oh, well, that's what it is. That's what it, it's always 
But in, in Ireland, it's always back three, so it's something else. It's... Yeah. What well, is? I'm also happy to see both players play sticks, so we don't have to worry about desync issues. Um, so who do we have next? Oh, I think I see our. Oh, we've man. got some big boys stepping up to the stage now. Do we have? We got. So, is that a tissue one I see? Yeah, if we can, we got our like our tournament favorite to win the next match, and I think I see Jax as well. So, wave, wave, wave. There you go, Tishimon giving a wave to his fans, I guess. Let's <laughs> run. We need to have words. We need to have words. <laughs> we need to have words. Let a man, let a man scratch his itch. I'm pretty sure it's Tishimon versus Jax, judging by who they have up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it? This is sense. Oh, we got Devil Kazuya. Okay. Devil Kazuya versus... BQ? Okay. Interesting, I have not heard of BQ. Oh yeah, Devil... A3, okay, I'm not gonna know. I'll try and pronounce it when I see it on screen. B3S Web 1. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, have... okay, it might be Bez, it might be the three, it might be some lead speak, it might be Bez Web, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna. We'll call like our. I don't know, Devil Kaz's opponent. <laughs> we'll. We'll think of a na name for it. I don't. I haven't seen this guy around before. He might be from somewhere, uh, from somewhere else. Um, Devil Kaz, though. Fair, player, quite familiar. Phenomenal yeah. showing of versus fights in fourth place. Yeah, beat Q Dance with, with his own character there. You know, and that's Q Dance is an easy top five in Korea slash the world. Well, he is he will he is the world champion. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it's being Dance is like accolade in, in itself. And you know, Italy is kind of one of the probably one of the best places to go to learn Ichiban, especially in Europe. You know, they they have a household a name of. You've got Harry Potter. You've got Fake Potter. Yeah, yeah. You've got Devil Kazi, Devil Kazi, as, you, as you're going to see very shortly. Yeah, Harry Potter's at this as well. And it's, so, yeah. I'm going to say his name is Best Web. Best Web one, I'm going to say. And he's here from Sweden? Yeah, yeah. Must be. Oh, God damn it, Lithro. I don't it on purpose. <laughs> he is doing it on purpose. Okay, well, so we'll, we'll nominate him Best Web. Best Web. Best Web. Best Web. Best Web. Best web. I'm gonna ask him how to pronounce his name. Marcus. Oh, shit. <laughs> Marcus. Ask the guy with the blonde hair how to pronounce his gamer tag. Ask the guy with the blonde hair. Bisweeby. Okay. Bis We've been learned his name is pronounced Bisweeby. Bisweeby. Okay. Beastweeby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. So he's probably gonna be a waifu player. And we've got Bisweebia versus Team Forge's Devil Kazuya. Indeed. Noti I've noticed a lot of the um, Italian, sp Italian players are getting sponsored. Yeah, I mean, maybe there's kind of a growing esports business in Italy that maybe we don't, don't know of, but... Uh... There's, there's quite a few teams. There's Cyberground, Team Forge, there was Hell's Gaming. Um, yeah. But it, it's good to see that these players are being picked up to play this game so that they can, they can, travel, to, they can travel further afield to play the game that they love. Yeah, it is, yeah, but it's great. And make a bit of cash on the side? Yeah, perhaps Devil Kazuya can definitely... We could be seeing like an Italian Grand Finals between himself and Tishimon. We could actually see Devil Kaz take CT as well, so... We definitely could see, see him. I think... What was the Italian word for your house sweep? I remember Spike saying this. It was like, Fontanino or something like that. That, that. that sounds like how the Italians would refer to a house sweep. Yeah. And we're going in, we've got Bisweeby. I think I saw a Horan being picked. Interesting. Yeah, it was Horang. Okay. Horang and Devil Jin. So Horang, we don't see a lot. He's a, definitely a specialist character in this game. There's, a, there's, a, there's TKD in Ireland, isn't there? Yeah, TKD. Haroon's at this as well. So we have a few, but you know, he is a specialist character, no doubt. So let's go. Sweden versus Italy. More like EU on EU action from 
immediate, uh, near immediate side, side step, helps you take him to the wall. Our Once first Dantelino of the day. He's just peppering him with these running his pressures for Lemus. Yeah. <laughs> Dantelino, <laughs> we're working on a perfect. The, the second Dantelino of the day. Dantelino perfecto. Or at least what it is. I'm probably a fan of some Italians by saying this. Italy, we're sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this all day. With the skyrocket and. Okay. This like, Wibby needs to. Like after that, after that perfect, he needs to. He, ne he needs to start. He needs to start figuring out what Devil Kazuyu wants yeah. to do. The thing with this matchup is you can't you can't be trying to outspace um, uh, Mishima for too long, especially with Horang. You need to sort of well, be in their face. Some some Mishimas you can, but not Diablo Jim. Yeah, yeah, not Diablo Jim, no. <laughs> and it, he he gets a he gets a punish on the he gets a punish on the um, in, on the on the wing god fist. Very good. Yeah, good stuff from Bisweeby. Very see, I don't see very many people at all all over, and he low parries the hell sweep. Damn. As I, well, in Horang's case, it kind of makes sense, you know. Uh, he doesn't have the best wall standing punishments. I know he can do his hard delay hop kick, but uh, sometimes when you're in clutch, it, kinda, it sometimes is difficult to land. Low, low power delay hop kick, that's a ton. Oh, Beast Wibby, he's bringing it now. Yeah, yeah, we are looking at it. At it. Okay, open space. This is good for um, definitely good for Devil Definitely good for a Mishima. Devil guys, just like. Out of space, there goes. More health sweep mix ups. Two. On the Lino. Just the Lino, and this is looking like another perfect. Possibly. There we go. Down are we back. Are we going to see a triple P? Could be. Yeah. Don't let this happen, be sweepy. And he did. Yeah. He, didn't. he has one thing to take away from this, he, at least. He's challenged. He's challenged now. He's getting a lot more. Uh, be sweepy is being a lot more buttons in. Yeah. Now, uh, you yeah, see that now he's, now he's staggering in the strings. He's, one, one. Pass oh, he's staggering down for one, two. Okay, he's got rage. What can he do with it? Horang with rage in your face. Can be quite lethal. He gets a throw. Interesting. Oh, and oh, he got four, four. Four, four, four to take it. But as I was, as I was beginning to say, Beast Weeby was getting a lot more. But he was, he was dash, he was dash blocking. He was going in. He was doing. He was just pressing buttons in his face. And yeah. And to counteract, and to counteract, he started. Um, Double Kazza started. He started delaying his. He started delaying his strings, staggering them, waiting for him to press buttons and try and try and punish gaps yeah. that weren't there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh god, damn it! Oh no, we, we were there the entire time. We were there the entire time. He didn't switch to be scratching my nose this time. So um, we're going to go to abandoned temple. We're going to uh, all stage again. Got that pesky side wall now. Yeah, yeah. At least no more open stages, which is good for Horang at least. So, this way we definitely not out of contention. Definitely still he's in definitely contention. not out of contention. He had to, to lose, sorry, but he's in contention, I should say. Definitely still in contention. He so, eats a handspring. Spring kick. Play strings. He's eating a lot of those down two. I don't think he's got a single down two. Yep. Oh, he gets it by a down four two. two. And take, he doesn't get.